got to meet this friend of mine. Come on. Sticky fingers, Dr. Fushida. Excuse me? No need to steal. I offer you breakfast, you say no. Why you say no when you're hungry? I hope you make more sense at the hospital. Kenji. Daniel. <laughs> Uh, Veronica Redfield, Dr. Kenji Fushida. How do you do? Oh, boy. This is a pleasure. You know, your recording of Hiding's uh, cello concerto in C minor has helped me get through a lot of difficult surgery. Thank you. That's very, very nice to hear. Graciousness is not his middle name. He must want something. Hey. Breakfast, maybe? Yeah. Lou will be happy to get you some food. He already eat plenty. <clears throat> Daniel, the EEG report on Alice Saunders is in. You saw it? Yeah, there's no brainwave activity. Pressure in the brain? Climbing. She's going downhill fast. She's dying? Her brain is. There's no chance she'll make a turnaround. No, I'm afraid not. Ken, are you here about the boy with the congenital heart problem? Bobby Cachola. Yes. He's not doing well. We're keeping him going with medication, but he's just not responding. He needs a heart transplant. Don't say it, Ken, okay? I have to. We want you to ask Mrs. Saunders to donate Alice's heart. I can't. For God's sake, the woman has no other children. She's got no one but this little girl. It should come from somebody higher up than me, uh... Margaret Judd. It'd be easier hearing it from another woman. It's never gonna be easier. Besides, she knows you. Look, Daniel, Bobby Cachola's birthday's in two weeks. He's not gonna make it without the heart. Alice shows no brainwave activity, none? None. I'll ask, but I'll be damned if I know how. Thank you, Daniel, son. Look, guys, I'm sorry about spoiling your morning. And Daniel, time is not on our side, okay? You understand that this is the right thing to do, don't you? I just wish you didn't have to be the one doing it. Stock that jukebox with something else besides Bobby Darren, huh? Yeah, the grooves got all worn out. You know, there's never been another Bobby Darren. The man was the consummate professional. Yeah, this place ain't gonna be the same without a little Mac the knife. Why don't you just splish splash me another uh, Bloody Mary, okay? To make this one consummate. My apologies for being late. I got tied up in court. No problem, counselor. Sit down, make yourself at home. What do you drink? I don't drink. More importantly, neither should you. You're in significant trouble, Johnny. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for guys like me who were in significant trouble, guys like you wouldn't be wearing $2,000 suits now, would they? <sighs> Land developer arrested for drunk driving child in coma. I already read it. If I didn't have enemies, stuff like that wouldn't be making the papers. Why do you think you have so many enemies, Johnny? I'm a land developer. It's a dirty word in Oahu, you know that. If the little girl dies, you're looking at manslaughter. It was an accident. If she dies, it is still manslaughter. Your blood alcohol was 0.23. You've got priors. Drunken disorderly, assault, D&D &D again, two DUIs. You're only sitting here now because I found a bail bondsman as plastered as you were. What do you want me to do? Get smart. You hang in bars drinking, that doesn't look good. What does look good is you checking into a rehab center. Then I can expound on the miracles of rehabilitation to the judge. Hey, I'm not an alcoholic, okay? I like a little drink now and then that's it. Whatever. I'm telling you how to strengthen your case. The decision is yours, nobody is twisting your arm. Okay, okay. There, I quit. It's over, history, you happy? My happiness is not the issue. Keeping you out of jail is. Ah, tragedy. What? Bobby Darren died when he was 36, in his prime. Hey, you didn't finish your drink. 
Great observation, Nick. And all this time, I thought you were just stupid. In the enchanted land of New Jersey, there lived a little girl named Alice. Alice had a beautiful dog named Big Betty. Alice and Betty shared many secrets, but there was one important, special secret. It was that Big Betty could talk. Big Betty didn't just say things like, bow wow. Hi. Hi. Come in. I'm Dr. Kalani. Hi, I'm Bobby. If you're a doctor, how come you don't wear a white coat? They're boring. Flower stripes and polka dots are a lot more fun. Any more questions? If your name is Kalani, how come you're not Hawaiian? I was adopted. It's a long story. You want to hear it? No, thanks. Guess how old I am. Let's see. I'd say seven and a half. Boy, you're a good doctor. I'll be eight in two weeks. Actually, I already knew. Your doctor told me. Kenji-san? No, another. Did he tell you about my birthday present? No. You tell me. My mom and dad and my brothers were all taking a plane over the ocean to California and go to Disneyland. Well, I'm not going exactly on my birthday, but it'll be my birthday present when I get better. Sounds super. Boy, when Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck see me, will they be amazed? <laughs> Absolutely amazed. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, Doc. Mr. Trout? Long time no see. I'm sorry about that. It's been pretty rough the last couple of days. It's OK. I've been keeping an eye on you from afar, though. Thanks. It's a pleasure any old time. Same here. Doctor, how are things with the little girl? Bad. That's what I've heard. I'm sorry. I just looked in on Ollie Trout. He must be doing something right, Matt Skirt. He's, he's looking very well. Oh. Sweet old guy. He cheers me up every time I see him. Each to his own, sir. Pad? No, I forgot them. Don't come to me for references. Hey, I don't ask you for anything anyway, huh? Hey, Russ, I missed you. And you missed me. I can tell. Actually, see a smile. Nervous tick. Look like you're feeling better? Yeah, I am. Better. Feeling better. Good. You'll be seeing that scraggly pooch sooner than you think. Yeah, sooner than I think. Pain? Oh, no, I'm fine. Uh, except for a little tweak in my lower back, uh, old injury. Heating pad usually does the trick. I'll order you one. Well, I know you're busy. Time is money. <laughs> Uh, good day, uh, doctor. He actually called me doctor. <sighs> Mamaki T. I brewed this with O'Hilla Berry. The tea will help soothe your pressures. <laughs> Good. Thanks. Your decision is difficult. Listen to the voice inside, my son. Tutu, I hear more than one voice. Does one voice prevail? Uh, yes and no. I don't, I don't know. How can I ask her to give her daughter's heart when there's nothing to offer her in return? The little girl is her whole life. 
Your mother, sometimes she feels the spirit of her mother in the rush of a warm wind. She sees it in the shape of a cloud. Well, honey is eternal. Her daughter will live through the boy. Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. That's what you're saying. You're hearing the voice inside. I'm not sure it's enough to help her. One plant, so many others will be born. <laughs> it's a good feeling to make things grow. Yes? Yes. Come on. Yeah. Danny boy. James. Hey, bra. <laughs> <laughs> Special pleasure for an old man to see both his sons at the same place at the same time. <laughs> you know, Brew, people are starting to wonder whether I really have a brother or it's just a figment of my imagination. I know, I know. It's been crazy. I haven't even had a chance to unpack my socks yet. Socks? Oh, yeah, you guys in town need them, don't you? Very funny. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Still got A moment to keep and gun fun it. I don't have the camera. I take pictures after we eat. I gotta get back to the hospital, Nana. Yeah, I'm swamped too. Rain check, Ma? Busy, busy, busy. No rain check. Come. I make cow pia for dessert. Uh-oh. If I were stranded on a desert island with only one food, I'd want it to be your cow pia. And I fry manini special for you. Come, James, help me peel the ulu. Oh, come on, Ma. Woman has a ruthless streak, yes? You just figure that out. 